Alright, so now let's say that you decided to gather with your users and the project team on specific naming convention, which is different from the one that Tableau uses. So now the question is, how to rename in Tableau. So in Tableau, we can do the following changes on the table. So we can rename the table itself, or we can rename the fields inside the table. And the last one, we even can change the values inside these fields, also known as aliases. We're gonna talk about it in the next tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're gonna focus on renaming the fields and renaming the tables. So first, let's learn how to rename the fields in Tableau. Alright, so now we're gonna learn how to rename fields in Tableau. Let's have the following task. So the task says, rename our fields in Tableau following the naming convention Pascal case. So that means all the words are capitalized and no separation between words. All right, so now the first question is on which page we can rename our fields. We can rename our fields either in the worksheet page or in the data source page. We're gonna get the same effect. But I usually go to the data source page since there we can find more metadata informations about the fields and tables. And now the second question is can we rename our fields globally for the whole workbook for all worksheets? And as well can we do it locally for only one view well you can do both but renaming locally for only one view it's a little bit tricky so now let's learn how to rename our fields globally for the whole workbook for all views in the worksheet page okay so now let's go to the worksheet page over here then we're gonna go to the data pane on the left side we will rename the shipping dates and here we have three methods the first one is the drop down so what we're gonna do right click on it and then simply go to the rename so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna rename it to the Pascal so I'm just gonna remove the space between them then enter and that's it it's really easy we just renamed the shipping dates and the second method is to use a shortcut so for example let's go to the order date over here and hit F2 and with that we can edit the name so I'm just gonna remove as well the space between order and date and hit enter so as you might already noticed the position of the order date just changed in the data pane and that's because the fields in the data panes are sorted in alphabetical order so that was the second method using the f2 using a shortcut and the third method to rename the fields in the worksheet page is to click and hold so for example let's go to the unit price over here lift click and hold then release as you can see we can now edit the name so this is the third one i'm just gonna remove the space between them and hit enter so that's it those are the three methods of renaming the fields in the worksheet drop down a shortcut using f2 and click and hold and one more thing about renaming unlike the aliases which we're gonna learn later can rename any type of fields so whether it's dimension measure continuous discrete any type we can rename it so there is no restriction or whatever for renaming in tableau all right so now let's go to the next one we're gonna rename the fields in the data source page so let's go to the data source page over here and here we have two places where we can rename stuff either at the metadata grid or at the data grid and here we have only two methods to rename stuff so the first one is gonna be the drop down like the worksheet page so let's go to the name, for example, the order date, right click on it and then rename. So we're going to remove the space between them and that's it. And the second method to rename fields in the data source page is by double clicking. So for example, let's go over here on the metadata grids to the customer ID and just double click on it. And now we can go and as well, we're going to remove the space. So that's it. So this is how we can rename in the data source page. We have only two methods the drop down and the double click. Here we don't have sadly any shortcuts. All right, so now we have the following scenario where we have renamed the fields like several times and we forgot the original names of the fields. So in this case, we can reset everything back to the original names. And we can do that either at the data source page or at the worksheet page. Let's see how we can do it on the data source page. So if you just go to the field, for example, the customer ID, right click on it, then here we have the option reset name. So let's click on that. So as you can see now, we are back to the original name of the field. I found it really strange because I would like as well to have the option of resetting to the Tableau naming convention so now let's see how we can do that on the worksheet page i'm gonna switch back and then go to the data pane let's pick the order dates and now we're gonna go and edit the field again so right click on it 
and then rename. Then you can see over here a very small icon to reset to the original name. By clicking on it, we reset the field to the original field name. All right, so now let's say that you have a lot of fields and you want to reset all of them. Now, instead of resetting them one by one, we can do multi-selection and then do reset. And we can do that at a data source page. So let's switch there. And here, it doesn't matter whether you're going to work with the metadata grid or at the data grid. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the order ID, click on it, and then hold control, select the next one. And then we're going to select the unit price as well. Then right click and reset names. Once you do that, you're going to reset all of them, which is really nice. So we have the unit price resetted, the shipping date, and as well the order dates. All right, so now we have the following scenario where you are in the project and you build already a view, but afterward you decided to do renaming. So what can happen to our view if we do renaming? So for example, here in the view, we have the order underscore ID and we want to rename it back to the Tableau name. So we're gonna go to the order ID, F2, and then instead of underscore, I'm just gonna leave it as a white space. So as you can see in the view, Tableau did change the names automatically to the new name. Well, you might say, okay, and what? This is expected. If I change the name of the data source, it's going to change as well in the visualizations. Well, this is only in Tableau. If you are using any other tools like Power BI and you do renaming at the data sets, the whole visualization going to break. So here, if you have the task of renaming, this is going to happen fast in Tableau, but in Power BI projects, it's going to be really painful. All right, so, so far we have learned how to rename the fields globally for the whole workbook. Now the question is how to rename locally for only one view. And here it depends on the field roles, discrete and continuous. So let's start now with the continuous. As we learned before, the continuous can generate the axis of the view. So here in this example, as you can see, the quantity and sales are the green builds. That means they are continuous and they generated the axis of the view. Now to rename the quantity over here and the sales, it's really easy. What we're gonna do, we will go over here on the axis right click on it and then go to edit axis let's go there then here we have a new window and if you go over here you can see the axis titles and the current title is quantity so let's go to the field over here and change it from quantity to quantities then let's close this and as you can see now the field name called quantities on the axis and if we check the data bin over here the field stays as quantity so we did this change only locally at this view and this is really easy for the continuous but the tricky part is if we have a discrete field for example the order ID over here is discrete we have the blue pills so this one gonna be tricky so now we're gonna change the name from order ID to orders so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the blue pill over here at the rows and double click on it double forward dashes write the word orders then press shift enter and that's it go outside just click here in the white space and as you can see now we have renamed it to orders and as well here in the view but we didn't change the global name it stays as order id here at the data pane so this is how we rename the discrete fields locally at one view so it was not really clear it's like tricky but let me show you how i usually do it let's take another field that category over here we're gonna change it from category to categories so what i usually do i go over here and double click on it and just i copy the name then i go to any text editor and paste the name then before it, we're going to have the new line, then double dashes, and we're going to have the new name categories, and that's it. So then I'm going to copy it from here and go back to Tableau. Then I go again inside the category over here, double click on it. Then I remove this part and just paste the new stuff, then enter. So that's it. This is how I usually do it for the discrete fields. I go to the text editor and prepare there since it's more clear for me what I'm writing. All right. So now we have learned all different methods of renaming fields in Tableau, as a data source page, the worksheets page globally and locally. Alright, so now we're gonna move to the next point where we're gonna rename the tables in Tableau. And here again, we can do the changes either at the data source page or at the worksheet page using the same methods as renaming fields. And the next point about locally and globally, you can change the names only globally. So anything you do, it's gonna affect all the views, which is not really critical as the field names. So now let's see how we can do it at the worksheet page. So we're gonna stay with a small data source over here and let's minimize everything. So we see the table names. So you might already notice that's on the names we have .csv and that's because our data sets comes from csv files which is not really useful information to see it at the data source so we can go and clean up the name and rename it to only for example customers so we can go to the name over here right click on it and then click rename 
So I'm going to rename it to only customers. And the next one, we're going to use the second methods using the shortcut F2. So let's hit F2 and remove the SV parts. We have only the orders and we're going to use the third method for the products just click and hold then remove the csv parts and that's it those are the three methods for renaming tables at the worksheet page now let's do the changes for the big data source at the data source page so let's switch there we're going to go to the data source page and here you have two places to change the table names either at the data model or at the metadata grid so we cannot go to the data grid to rename tables so first let's switch to the big data source I'm going to go over here, then big data source. So let's change the orders at the data model. So here we have only one methods, right click on it and rename. So we're going to remove the CSV parts and then we go to the customers over here. Then let's go to the metadata grid. And as you can see, just click over here and you can remove the CSV parts. So that's it. And now for the last one, we have to rename the product. So we can go over here and select the product and then we're going to rename it in the data source page. So, so that's it. So this is how you rename the tables at the data source page. We have the data model and the metadata grid. So with that, you have learned all the possible methods on how to rename tables in Tableau. All right, guys. So with that, we have learned how to rename things in Tableau. Next, we will learn how to add aliases in Tableau. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it. If you support, like, and comment, this is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.